Another big update that we got in the game as of right now that you guys probably been asking for the past 3-4 days now are these new kind of anti-airs added into Gear Labs. One for each faction, at least the major ones. Eagle Union, Royal Navy, Sacred Empire, and Iron Blood all have this. And it's these uh, Time Fuse, time fuse um, anti-aircraft. Now, some of them are pretty interesting uh, for the most part, though. From what I've been hearing is that these anti-air guns are a little different, a little unique in what they do. Basically, it it's what the initial kind of anti-air is, depending on what kind of gun it is, but I know one of them is different. Uh, it's basically what they do, except an extra step, and it just basically makes it so it does a little bit extra stuff. Uh, on the wiki, it says... Uh, anti-air guns with time foos belong to a new type of long-range anti-air gun. They are equipped in the anti-air gun slot for battleships, battle cruiser, and aviation battleships. So no vanguards are allowed to have these. Based on the equipment status of long-range anti-air or anti-aircraft guns, the fleet when fired, anti-air guns with time foos will form a fan-shaped anti-air zone and cause damage to enemy aircraft entering it. So a little bit extra steps because some of these aren't like the best anti-air like eagle union got the uh 127 dd gun that makes this into an anti-air gun and royal navy got the dido aas right here so we know these guns or we know these anti-air guns are not amazing for anti-air so it's just an extra step uh personally um in terms of making them though honestly all right i'll, I'll go through all of them basically eel union got the 127 so initially the first one gives 20 firepower and 25 anti-air this goes in the dd slot but now it's 35 anti-air and 10 firepower and this goes into the anti-air slot so 10 firepower is pretty interesting, I'm not going to lie. Has a little bit more anti-air compared to Dido AA, but 5 less firepower than Dido AA. So you want to do a little mixture of both, where you go like anti-air and firepower, you can definitely do this. But honestly, if you're doing fire, if you're using Dido AA, probably there's no anti-air threat to begin with. You just go with that, honestly. 5 more firepower is way worth it for me as of right now, at least for end game. Uh, but these are interesting though. We want anti air 25 or 35 anti air, 10 firepower. It's 10 more firepower, man. Can't complain there. Royal Navy got the Dido A increase. So this right here just gives it more oomph to what it already has. So it's already a best in slot anti air for many, many ships because of that 15 firepower. Now this just makes it a little bit better at doing anti air stuff. So personally, as of right now, if you guys are tight, on circuit boards i know a lot of you guys are tired on circuit boards i would hold off on making these for the time being but they may be useful later on in the future depending on we get a content where we need anti-air and a lot of damage definitely see that but personally though if i do see a lot of anti-air threat i'll probably just run a like a ur anti-air or something rather than just dido aa so that's just me though Sakura Empire got the 127s right here. So I don't think this is like an amazing upgrade compared to the prior one. Um, pretty much more damage, but slower fire rate. So I guess it's like a slight increase. Uh, personally, though, I think both are just way better. So let's go with that. Uh, and we got the UR anti-air right now. If you really want to go super deep into anti-air, that's always another option. But I think stag, I think not stag bofers, uh, bofers. Sex tuple ones are better than these. At least I think so. It's just it's just way too good. And then Iron Blood got the the twin 105 SKC23. Now this right here, I never crafted. I don't know if anyone actually crafted this. I think this is actually new actually. I think I'm dumb. But we had this for the longest time. This was one this was one of the good anti-airs like four years ago. Uh but nowadays though, I'm not sure how I feel about this. That's lower damage compared to the Sakura one, but faster fire rate. Um, personally though, I just go with Sextuple Bow first if you guys are at the stage of the game where anti-air is important. Go with those. I don't think this anti-air is not one of those things where you want a super super min-max. It's not that that important. So you're better off just getting like hit or firepower than just 
anti-air gun, honestly. I think, for the most part, most gold anti-air are pretty decent, for the most part. So you shouldn't care, like, too much about it. At least that's how I see it. So overall, though, I think these uh, anti-airs, at least a few of them have potential. Uh, I think Dido A definitely has potential because it's already a best in slot. And giving it more anti-air power for, like, this doing anti-air stuff is good overall. I think the Eagle Union one also has potential as well too, even though it's five less firepower compared to the Dido AA. That's more anti-air though, so that is the thing. But as of right now though, I wouldn't I would hold off on making these because it does cost circuit boards, and circuit boards are one of those material that a lot of people are lacking, so I would wait. Overall though, these are very interesting uh time foods anti-airs. So uh maybe the time will come when I'll actually make these, but as of right now though, I don't plan on making any, so you guys want to make them go for it but i'm not going to do it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one